um, you wouldn't know it's a house that we own from any other home. Mm -hmm. um, but some of the things, whereas if they have not learned necessarily how to be good neighbors, some stigmas may form by, um, you know, the trash isn't where it's supposed to be. You have toys all in the yard. Um, so it, it's improving. Mm -hmm. I, I have hopes that it can continue to get better if we continue to work and have these discussions like this and bring the right people to the table and work with agencies who can help um, work with them on self-sufficiency goals. Could I say too, I, I think if when we were, when we, when we had the Stop Smoking campaign, it was on everything. Yeah. When we uh, dealt with uh, some of these other issues, it breast got all, cancer. Yeah, breast cancer, you can go down the list. I mean, it just got over publicized. We did, it was everywhere on everything. Uh, it was about educating the community to think differently regarding these things. Yeah. Uh, it's going to come to that same thing in dealing with the community, uh, with the landlords and, and, and other agencies and groups too to recognize you've got to educate people, you've got to teach them something different here so that as a community we come together and we, we attack this thing here. You mind? Well, I think not only do we need to come together as a community of people uh, and maybe try to walk across, you know, different walks of life or different uh, uh, colors of skin, but I think also uh, nonprofit organizations uh, need to be able to work with for-profit organizations who need to be able to work with government entities uh, who need to be work with be able to work with private individuals and work with uh, w all of us work together for a common good. I, I believe that uh, all of the agencies represented here uh, have something to bring to the table and working together uh, we can we can tackle this problem. Well if that hasn't happened 